Okay, so I had to really take a nap to do this video just to make sure I'm not like a whole bunch of emotions all over the place. But with the recent um, passing of my dad and literally, what's today? Monday, yesterday, Kobe Bryant passed away and like I kind of like correlated um, a lot of things like similarities um, just you know with with sudden death you know um, and you know I'm sharing this because I'm you know this is therapeutic for me but also to you know try to help someone else too and help other people by just sharing this but just with you know people passing away and when it's not planned um, it's definitely like um, a shock it's definitely um, it's not happy it's the feelings is you know hurt it's pain um, it's sadness it's a whole bunch of emotions that you know really hit you um, that you don't have control over um, and with you know our dad passing away sudden it wasn't planned um, I still gave my dad another like 20 to 30 more years of of living um, he passed away at 68 I got him I had him at least live until like 98 you know if that you know but it was a shock all of us were you know hurt and it was one of those um, we just had to leave it up to God and we really had to cherish the moments you know with him um, just like the similar similarity with Kobe Bryant and the eight other people passing away his daughter being one of them um, also it was like a husband and a wife and kids on that um, helicopter did you know went down is that like man like it's not like if you're gonna die it's when you're gonna die I'm just being honest and um, it had me just really thinking of like, um, when, when you do die, you know, like what's, how are you leaving, you know, your loved ones, you know, with me having a wife and kids, I got a whole family. Like if I, when I do die, it's like, how am I going to leave them? Um, if I'm going to leave them just stranded. Um, like financially, uh, am I not, ha do I have things in place, um, you know, for them? Um, yeah, I do. But because there's a time I didn't. And that's one of those things I had to, you know, realize that, you know, I could be gone, you know, literally tomorrow. Like just taking, a lot of people take for granted of just being able to get home, um, to make it home every single day. Um, to your family, just being able to live another day. Um, and it was just so routine of like, boom, I made it home. I'm this, you know, like I got more, I got 20 more years, I got 30 more years, I got 50 more years, whatever. You think you're going to live forever. And then like, boom, it's like something happens, you're gone. So that just like put a lot of things in perspective to me, like just to really like you know, cherish the moments that I have with my friends, with my family, um, the things that I'm doing. Um, and most importantly, like literally have things set up for when you die. Um, when my brother passed away it'll, in 2012, so I don't do all the numbers, but in 2012, he passed away. My older brother, who was three years older than me, that was sudden. That was, you know, like a shock. It hurt, still hurts to this day. Um, but thankfully he had things in place. He had a lot of things set up for his family, you know, his family and his kids. I mean, his wife and kids and all that, like he had things in, in place. So it was not one of those, yo, how do you just leave your family? You know, the, are you preparing, you know? Um, and then also too, what a lot of people don't tell you, you know, the more closer, like the the your relatives are like if your brother passed if your mother if your father if your wife your kids you play a, a more major part of a role in 
you know, planning a funeral and stuff. So you're not just showing up. Um, people don't tell you that as far as be behind the scenes and all that, like how that goes. Um, that's tough, you know, to really write somebody's obituary, you know. Um, that's tough to, like, agree on everything, you know. That's tough um, financially if you don't have things in place. Um, they don't tell you that, yeah, if somebody dies in your family, you literally have a couple days to put down a deposit or else they're not going to bury your, your loved one or they're not going to, you know, have a um, service for them. It's about money. So if you don't have it, I've seen people do like go GoFundMe pages or some other thing, a collection, you know, not just to have a, you know, funeral. So the biggest thing I want to take away is when you do die, because it's going to happen, who knows when, um, have you made plans? You know, one, have you made the first plan is what is your relationship with God? That's the first thing, you know, um, and I can go on for like 40 minutes about that because at the end of the day, that's the major thing. Two is financially, you know, do you have like big people? I'm always, and I finally have done it a couple of years ago is have life insurance. Like, do you have life insurance? It is not that expensive to have life insurance. Um, if you if you were to leave this world, are you going to leave your loved ones with debt? Are you going to leave your loved ones with, you know, bills that they can't um, afford? You know, like, what are you doing? You have car insurance. You got insurance on your cell phone. Um, you have homeowners insurance. You have all types of insurance, health insurance. Um, but do you have life insurance? Like, um because you are going to die like you you get a car insurance you you may not ever get in a car accident but you're definitely going to die so life insurance is definitely something that everyone really needs to have because you are going to die um with kobe passing away i guess the biggest thing where i correlated is like oh you had a fam you have you have a family you have kids you know and it's just like, oh, they really have to go without a father. You know, even when my older brother passed away, his kids, they have to go without a father. That was the biggest thing um, that hurt, you know, the, mo the most is like, man, like my brother's gone. But what about his kids? You know, like they're going to grow up, you know, physically without having their dad present on there. And that's what I looked at is what Kobe is like, man, like his girls have to grow up you know, without their father. And, but he, I'm pretty sure he left them and had things in place, um, you know, for them, but not having a dad, you know, that as, you know, l leaving that quick, it's sudden. Um, it's just a lot of missed out, missed opportunities that would have happened in the future. So at the end of the day, it's literally like, we have to prepare for death. We have to prepare our family. We have to set things in place for them. Um, just so they're not, you know, left out there trying to fend for themselves. I think that's the biggest thing um, that kicked in for me a couple of years ago when I did get life insurance. That, yeah, if I die, like, I get it. It's, it's going to hurt. It's... You know, my family's going to be um, sad, you know, all that stuff. But one thing I can assure is, which I know is, financially, they'll be fine. You know, like, they won't have, have to have the burden on any bills, you know, that I left. And it's going to be money in place, you know, for them. So, take every day, every moment, every second, you know, and cherish it. You get arguments with people, little arguments, man, squash it, tell them you love them, tell them it's not that serious, because at the end of the day, you really don't know what tomorrow holds for you, so, that's all I wanted to share, see y'all later.